Super Bowl ring belonging to New England Patriots owner Robert Kraft is currently stashed away in the Kremlin. But how did it get there? Kraft initially said the massive ring with nearly five carats of diamonds was a gift to President Vladimir Putin back in 2005. But now Kraft is telling a much different story. CNN's Alina Cho is in New York with this mystifying a story. Alina, explain how did this all come to be? Uh, you'd say it's international intrigue. Well, really, uh, Frederica, it's a case of international he said, he said. The question being this, as you mentioned, did Russian President Vladimir Putin steal a Super Bowl ring from New England Patriots owner Robert Kraft? Now, Kraft is now saying Yes. Now, the Patriots owner was at an event last week in New York City, right here. He was accepting the Carnegie Hall Medal of Excellence. And during that acceptance speech, he brought up the story, which first surfaced back in 2005. To take you back there, that is when Kraft met with Putin in St. Petersburg, according to the New York Post, which first broke the story. Kraft says he showed Putin his shiny new $25,000 diamond-encrusted Super Bowl ring, which, by the way, is engraved with his name on it. And then Putin said, according to Kraft at the gala, quote, he goes, I can kill someone with this ring. I put my hand out and he put it in his pocket and three KGB guys got around and walked out. So that's what Kraft says. Did Putin really steal the ring? Not according to one aide who says he was there at the time. Take a look at your screen. In a statement to CNN, Putin's spokesman said, I was there when it happened. So what Mr. Kraft is saying now is weird. I was standing 20 centimeters away from him and Mr. Putin and saw and heard how Mr. Kraft gave this ring as a gift. So as you can see, Goodness. it's a little he said, he said. Oh, big time he said, he said. Okay, so how do we get to the bottom of the truth? You know, it, I mean, I guess in the first place, why this back and forth? Why this misunderstanding if it was so clear to some? That's right, especially after uh, so many years. Well, Fred, the best way I can explain it is I believe a lot of it has to do with the fact that Kraft has changed his story a bit over the years, or perhaps it's a little bit of this, maybe because so much time has passed, he's just now speaking a bit more freely. But to explain it, initially, Kraft mm. himself said the ring was a gift to Putin. You said that. And he said as much in a statement back then. Take a look at your screen. He said, Kraft, I decided to give him the ring as a symbol of my respect and admiration that I have for the Russian people and the leadership of President Putin. Now, a little bit of a different story. According to the New York Post, Kraft says that White House officials at the time urged him to say it was a gift in the interest of, quote, U.S.-Soviet relations. Now, remember, 2005 was the Bush administration. So what did we do? Today, we caught up with former Vice President Dick Cheney. Watch. I, I don't know anything about it. I just heard a brief blurb on it this morning. That's right. Cheney doesn't know anything about it. As for the ring, Fred, it now sits on display at the Kremlin oh. Library. We have reached out to Robert Kraft, by the way. So far, no official response. It is oh Father's Day, gosh. after all. We also saw Vladimir Putin earlier today give a news conference with the U.K. Prime Minister David Cameron. But while there were many, many questions about Syria, there were no questions about the ring. And, and he right. wasn't wearing it because you said it is on display at the Kremlin right. Library. Oh, my gosh. I guess that kind of smarts for Mr. Kraft, too. Well, yes. I'm, I'm sure this is not the end of the story, because a whole lot no, of back and forth. No, we're going to get to the bottom of it. <laughs> Just the tip of the iceberg. All right, thanks, Alina. Appreciate it.